Hello and welcome to the stock market analysis. Let's continue to take a look at what the S&P 500 is doing. This is the S&P 500 futures, the daily chart. Uh, the reason why we want to look at the major indexes such as S&P 500, Dow and the Nasdaq is because 75% of stocks, they do follow the direction of the general market. Now, uh, we had a very nice rise for the market since around here. And one of the reasons is because we had a break of a downtrend line. If you see here, uh, the S&P 500 broke back above the 20 MA, the 50 MA, and then broke back above the uh, downtrend line. This started a very nice rise for the market. Until here, it had a nasty decline that uh, made many people lose money, that shocked a lot of people, um, and some may be thinking that it might fall to the 200 MA, but eventually the stock um, moved back up from this higher low, and then we are making new all-time highs right now. So uh, one thing I really want you to take a look at is this bullish cross where the 20 MA goes back above the 50 MA. So when you have this kind of uh, occurrence, this what happens, uh, there is a possibility that the market may continue to rise. That's why I call it a bullish cross. Compared to a bearish cross where the 20 MA goes below the 50 MA, sometimes uh, the stock can decline, the stock market can decline by quite a lot. But since we are in an uptrend, <coughs> the bearish cross uh, usually does not damage it so much. We have a bearish cross here, but you can see the damage is not so much. But when we have a bullish cross in an uptrending stock market, the move up can be significant. You can see here how, um, let me just find the, all right, here after the bullish cross, the market rose by quite a lot, about 17.37%. So uh, bullish crosses are very important in an uptrend. And recently, we just have a bullish cross here. So there's a possibility that the stock market may continue to rise, maybe even go above 5,500 for the S&P 500. So uh, the question for you right now is the market strong? Is the market good? Yes, I believe it is because the 20 MA is rising, the 50 MA is rising, and 200 MA is rising. <coughs> and in... Layman terms, this means that um, short term we should be bullish bias, mid term we should also be bullish bias, and um, long term we should be bullish bias. Here we can see that the market has been staying above the rising 200 MA for a long time, just a slight dip here, but it went back above. But you can see the sloping 200 MA eventually points to a long-term gain in the markets, and this is something you need to remember, because as long as the 200 MA is rising, the market is going to be doing very, very well. So in this situation, we just had a bullish cross, and we made a higher low here, higher highs here, are we in a strong position for more move up? Yes, I believe we, we, we do. Because we have these prior highs here. This is the prior high. right? And this was supposed to be a resistant area, but eventually it broke out of the resistance area. And if you remember your technical analysis, uh, resistance once broken becomes a strong support and what I usually do is that as long as the S&P 500 stays above this green support area yes it will eventually go up higher just like here there was a resistance but eventually it overcome this resistance and as long as the market stays above this green area it will eventually go back up so you see this was a support area, the market rose, it dropped, but it did not drop below the top of this area. That's why we have a bullish reversal and go back up. So this is wonderful news for the S&P 500 because it's still staying above here. And uh, 
if the market continues to trade sideways and then breaks out higher so um, this is just a projection right? if it stays above this support area maybe you'll trade sideways and break out higher so uh, it will be bullish for the stock market now let's take a look at the Dow futures Dow futures I think it's not very as strong as compared to the S&P 500 uh, but it did find support at this area this was a consolidation support the Dow traded up and then dropped from a bottoming tail at this support area and then it formed a double bottom in the support area and it moved back up and I think because of some weaknesses of component stocks it uh, had a nasty correction here but because the S&P 500 is doing well I think eventually the Dow will continue to move up what we can do is draw an uptrend line here and as long as Dow stays above this uptrend line most likely it will continue to move up and the rising 200 ME does point to long term uh, long-term strength for the Dow as well and do remember we have a bullish cross that happened here so uh, the bias is bullish the last time it had a bullish cross was here and it continued to uh, rise by quite a lot now let's take a look at <coughs> the US tech NASDAQ 100 futures NASDAQ is doing really well. We just have a bullish cross here. The last time it had a bullish cross, we had a very, very nice rise. On, uh, then we decline and form a higher low and it breaks up higher. And just like the S&P 500, this was a nasty resistance area. But as the <coughs> NASDAQ 100 managed to go above this resistance area and now this area is an area of strong support because the, of the massive amount of consolidation here so this is a strong support and the path of this resistance is up so um, as long as NASDAQ stays above this area I believe that the NASDAQ will continue to move up, chop higher and uh, make new all-time highs along the way now let's take a look at SMH. Uh, previously, I mentioned that it has broken above the downtrend line. Downtrend line is where you connect as many highs as uh, possible. And when the sector breaks above the downtrend line, it signals a change from bearish to bullish. And you can see it's moving up. And I did make a projection here. The measured move target from here to here if we project it up from here to here we'll go um, to about 270 over so there is still a lot of room for SMH to run we just have a bullish cross and here is a previous high support area <clears throat> and as long as SMH stays above this area things are going to be very good for semi stocks especially Nvidia and AMD and uh, Taiwan Semiconductor and so on this is a previous high resistance once overcome becomes new support area and remember the 200 MA is also rising so this tells us of long term strength in the semi sector as well now let's take a look at uh, commodities like gold prices. It's always interesting to take a look at gold because it's one of the most followed uh, commodities in the world. Now uh, it made a new all-time high here <coughs> and then a correction here but it's still staying above the 50 MA. Now what might worry us is that it might have a double top here so uh, if it will only be a danger if um, gold drops below this support area this is a low where you form a double bottom here the double top 
which is a bigger double top here, if you can see, will only materialize if it drops below this support area. So as long as gold stays above this support area, we should continue to be bullish on gold in the long term. So maybe we will have a sideways trading right before breaking out. Right, that is a possibility. So um, that is a possibility that might happen if it stays above this support area and if that happens this will be a consolidation breakout just like here it consolidated and then broke out higher now let's take a look at um let's take a look at crude oil prices crude oil has not been doing well ever since it dropped below the uh, uptrend line here and also the uh, 50 MA, it has also dropped below the 200 MA. I'm not very convinced that it can go back up unless it breaks above uh, this downtrend line, which is not too far. The sample support area here, but we need to see it go back above this downtrend line and the 200 MA. If not, it will just erode the support here and then move lower from there. All right. The reason why it fell is because there's quite a lot of resistance over here. Remember, resistance are not easy to overcome. Sometimes the market will trade sideways, so absorb the resistance. Other times it will correct, and uh, oil seems to choose the correction path. So now it's in between a support and a resistance area. We want to see where it goes from there. And... A good hint is if it can break back above the downtrend line in the 200 MA, then that shows that there's a possibility that we might see it uh, trade like this and then move it higher like this. All right, that is just a projection if it is able to break above a downtrend line. Now let's move on to Bitcoin. We do I do cover cryptocurrencies. <coughs> <coughs> Now, the first thing you need to know about Bitcoin is that um, the 200 MA has been rising for quite a long time and this does point to long-term strength. You can see from here that it rise how uh, from there the, this Bitcoin has been going up and up. So at this moment, it's still rising and this, this tells uh, Bitcoin traders, cryptocurrency traders to be bullish in the long term. Long term on Bitcoin as well. And in my past analysis, I did point out uh, in my micro strategy analysis that uh, Bitcoin formed a reverse head and shoulder. It has broken above the this downtrend line and most likely uh, Bitcoin will break above this resistance area. This is a resistance area. <laughs> You can see how Bitcoin uh, hit the resistant area and declined. So uh, it is my belief that once we overcome this resistance area around here, Bitcoin will break out and then this will be a new support area and we will see Bitcoin uh, making new highs, probably going above 76,000 and so on. We just have the bullish cross here. The last time it had a bullish cross, we had such a nice rise. Here's a bullish cross and then a nice rise. So the odds of it going higher are very good because we have the rising 200 MA. So I hope that today's analysis is helpful to you. Uh, if you like analysis about the U.S. stock market, different sectors and commodities and also Bitcoin, do uh, like my channel and like the video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one.